that, issues like that are planted to divide us. I think the simple fact of the matter is, and this is where I would agree with Jeb, and I've been saying it all along, we need to give everybody a chance, treat everybody with respect, and let them share in this great American dream that we have, Megan. So, look, I'm going to love my daughters. I'm going to love them no matter what they do, because you know what? God gives me unconditional love. I'm going to give it to my family and my friends and the people around me. All right, folks, the hometown hero yesterday, the governor of the state of Ohio, John Kasich, on the uh, Fox News debate. And joining us now is Ralph Peters, Fox News strategic analyst. And, of course, uh, he is the author of so many fine books, including, of course, Valley of the Shadow, a novel. Hello, Ralph. How are you, sir? Well, I'm great, Steve. How are you doing? I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm pumped because uh, it was very interesting watching last night. I know you're a, you're a, a Kasich fan, uh, uh, so you must have been very impressed with some of the things he had to say up there last night. I was. I'm, I'm a ferocious hawk on national security, um, but I'm a, a tolerant guy on domestic policy. Um, I'm, I'm certainly tough love when it comes to education. I want you know, stricter standards. I want to, to fight the teachers' unions. But at the same time, you know, I, I just believe in live and let live with our fellow citizens. On the other hand, I do have to say that, um, you know, I really think people's sexuality and religious beliefs should be their personal business. And the one time I was really put off in the debate last night was when we started getting the question toward the end about, well, has God spoken to you about this? I mean, that's a BS question. You know, let's talk about the economy. Let's talk about terrorism. Um, let's talk about education. Let's talk about real things. And so I've been a Kasich fan for a long time because I think he's a decent, honest man. He can build bridges. He can work across the aisle. He's a red governor of a blue state. He's wildly popular. And we do not need more polarization. I want a ferocious national defense against our enemies. But here at home, we shouldn't be each other's enemies. And, you know, obviously there are always going to be people on the far left and far right who are irreconcilable, who want it all that that way. You know, there's no real difference between the extreme left and the extreme right. They're both totalitarian um, mindsets. But for all the rest of us, left, right, and the center, we've got to get back to compromise. Because, you know, you know, compromise is not a dirty word. Compromise is what democracy depends on. In a democracy, nobody gets everything their way all the time. And so, although I think Kasich is a, is a, a core conservative, He's also a man who realizes that not everybody shares his view of the world. And so I, I, I'm not, for months I've looked at the, the ideal ticket being Kasich Rubio. It's funny because, I, I, you know, I, I say that in, in the end it's probably going to be Walker Rubio. Uh, but Kasich was very impressive last night, and Walker was hey, much Walker less blew. impressive. Yeah, Walker, Walker I mean, I, I was very interested in Walker for a long time. But first, you know, he started losing me when he waffled. He was asked about evolution. And look, you know, the, the answer to that question, if a smart-ass reporter brings it up, is that God created Darwin, too. <laughs> you know, and, and you know, just don't, don't go there. Don't, don't yeah, twist yeah. yourself in knots trying to prove that Adam and Eve rode dinosaurs, because they didn't. God speaks to us in parables. And I, I just don't understand why literalists don't get that. But at any rate, I don't want religious religion yeah. or sexuality in the public sphere. That's not the issue. People might think it's great, it's National Enquirer stuff. I want to know, I want real policy programs and real solutions to genuine problems. Uh, the people that are left behind in America, Kasich raised that issue. We can't afford to let the Democratic Party continue to keep minority er um, um, Americans uneducated and unemployable and dependent. We've got to somehow bring everybody into the mainstream. We need that human capital. We can't afford that human wastage. And, you know, I think Kasich is a guy who really, I mean, he's a guy who could make a difference because he's not uh, a, a rigorous uh, Ideologue. What do you He's think of willing to listen to the other guy, and that's what we really need. We need to be able to listen to the other guy. You might agree with this. We might reject what he says in the end. Right. But let's at least listen. What, do, what about? We got a minute left, uh, uh, Ralph. What about uh, Trump? Um, the words I would use to describe Donald Trump would get you in real trouble with the FCC. Uh, I think he's a clown. I think he's a Republican Obama. Now, 
obviously, he and Obama behaved very differently, but they're both complete narcissists, both fully self-absorbed, wildly selfish, absolutely convinced that they are right, that they know all. The only difference is that Trump, at least, is he has some self-awareness. He's a cynic. He, he's playing this for all his worth, whereas Obama is self-absorbed without self-awareness. It's, it's, it's a very ugly, ugly situation. But I think, you know, Donald Trump made his career on hiring third-rate architects and first-rate lawyers. He never really answered what, the question what? about bankruptcy. Go to Atlantic City and ask some of the plumbers and carpenters right. and contractors he really hurt in the 90s. Well, Ra Ralph, we're going to have to leave it there. A great analysis. I appreciate your opinions, and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye, All right. We're coming back, folks. Don't go away.